guys, welcome to Kitchen Table Talk. Today we're going to be talking about religion. Ah, the, the old, yeah, the old cocktail party favorite. Yeah, I'm pouring a martini because this is one of my least <laughs> Politics favorite topics. Politics and religion, ever. we cover them all. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, good. Well, I was just thinking that on our Facebook page and our website, our mamas were getting really upset. They were going off, crazy, like almost not um, that constructive, happy dialogue that we always see right. other places. Well, I think that some moms felt that um, other moms were talking about the Catholic religion. Yeah. And I don't really think, you know, in my opinion, it wasn't about the Catholic religion at all. It was about the Catholic Church and the way the Catholic Church dealt with the priests that had committed the crimes and the abuses. Um, against, so, against children. Yes. So we're yeah. talking about the priests that, you know, uh, sexually and physically and emotionally abused these children. And um, and that the Catholic Church covered it up. That was the problem. Well, and, and, and the fact that the church covered it up just is adding creepy. insult to in, in, to injury. It was I mean, creepy. It, you're like put your kids, spiritual growth and physical beings next to people who are supposed to be uh, altruistic and asexual. <laughs> you know, I mean, and really, you have to you trust them because these people have taken an oath to God and to do service and uh, I guess it's... But what's the lesson? The lesson is well, you can't trust anybody, even a man of God. Yeah, because, like your most precious little being, you can't be, put in the hands of any other adult, which is so sad, but I guess true. Well, I, it, you know, you can form a relationship with somebody, a babysitter or a friend or whatever that you know and you trust completely and, you know, at what point do you just, you know, take your chances? Well, and I think probably the, the lesson is that as parents is that we have to teach our kids that they're allowed to have boundaries with other adults. If, you know, we're their parents and so they can trust us mm -hmm. implicitly and also trust to tell us if someone is doing them harm mm -hmm. and also not to let anybody get in their grill. You know what right. I mean? Well, I mean, our or word, sit them on their lap or touch right. them or, I mean, they need to be able to know that just because you have a badge on or a robe on or you're the coach, mm -hmm. you don't get to put your hands on me, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I think that's a great one. And I also think that they need to know that we are the preeminent, you know, authority, not sorry, priests, not coaches, not teachers, not policemen, right. not anybody, mom. And we need to get our kids to talk to us about these things and they need to understand the boundaries, but they also need to be able to um, trust that our word. Is, is gospel. Is gospel. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. yeah. So no one I, else's. Well, and, and so just her. We can't back keep to, secrets right. from mom. Right. Right. And no matter what. So it's just, it, we just have to make sure that we set the tone in our homes that makes it safe for kids to talk to us about well, this stuff and us to them. Yes. And that they understand that people need to practice what they preach. And if somebody says one thing but does something else to you, that's not okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So anyway, go on our religion button, hot button, and talk about this. Um, there are plenty of moms in there uh, with plenty of opinions to share. So go and uh, weigh in.